Why, Lois Griffin, you naughty girl. <laughs> That's me. Uh, it's good to have land. You know, Brian, if I choose to make stool in my pants right now, you're the only one here to change me. What do you think of that? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change you. What? I said I'm not going to change you. Well, you can't be serious. Well, what if, what if I make a fudgy? Well, I just won't. I just won't, that's all. I just won't. Blast, I just did! I swear to God, these kids are going to make me put a bullet through my head. Well, if I was in charge, we wouldn't be having this problem. Well, you got some ideas? Tell me. Oh, I'll tell you. Of course, I'll want a favor in exchange. <laughs> How does it smell, dog? Does it smell like servitude? <laughs> Aft torpedoes, fire! Do you want us to pull over? I don't care what you do! Oh, we'll pull over. We'll pull over. Pull over. <laughs> if your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball! <laughs> Do you think we were too hard on Chris tonight? What? Oh, God, no. No. No, no, I don't... I don't think so. Do you? Oh, no, I just always feel badly when we have to be strict. Oh, uh, did I remember to turn the stove off? Yes. Okay, now be polite, and for God's sake, don't mention anything about his kid's face. Oh, shut up! I am always so polite. <laughs> I, uh, hope we don't wind up on the evening news because of this. <laughs> You're funny. This, uh, this, this whole situation has just turned his whole life upside down, face. There's gotta be a way to get back at Jake Tucker for what he did to Chris. <gasps> I know, I know, I know! Let's plant drugs in his locker! Oh my god, that's a great idea. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. Hey, look at that Yosemite Sam mud flap. You better stay back, Brian. <sighs> You know, that is a terrific idea, Lois. I probably have a lot to offer young people. <laughs> What's he going to teach them? How to lick the Dorito crumbs from between the sofa cushions or how to leave a dead bird on the carpet? That was a gift, you bastard. That was a gift for the family. Oh, did I hear my big boy say he's got a crush on some lucky girl? Oh, you know, Chris, I knew this day would come, so I brought you a condom. Use it wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh man. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> you want some tang, Mr. Spaceman? Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, Fat Man, those jugs are mine until the milk dries up. Then you can have the remains. Peter, are you listening? Chris has a crush on his teacher. Ew, gross. You know what else is gross? <laughs> ah, broke a damn blood vessel! You know what you should do? Get in there tomorrow and do the robot. <laughs> Okay, you can stop that now. I can't hear you, I'm a robot. Come on, knock it off. Does not compute. Ooh. This isn't a flip book, Chris. They're instructions. If we're going to be together, I need you to kill my husband. Ah! Hey, do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty. <gasps> Everything all right here? Oh, fine, officer, just uh, enjoying the sunset. No law against that, is there? What happened to your shirt? Oh, you know, just a pizza party at the office. Oh, yeah? Where do you work? First Fidelity Insurance over on Way Bossett Street. Well, take it easy. Yes, yes, you too, you too. Oh, and uh, if you see Arnie, tell him, oogity boogity boo. He'll know what it means.